It's been just over six months since we started renovating our little cottage here in Ireland. Now, when I say renovating, what I really mean is we've made a big mess. A big mess we were planning to put right when we start the rebuild next year. Spending the winter here in our tiny little van wasn't the plan at all. No, we were intending to head south, just like we did last year in search of that elusive winter sun. However, life recently, as it often does, threw us a bit of a curveball. So, unable to travel, we are spending the winter here, with one less limb, a house we can't live in, and quite frankly, not as prepared as we should be. Winter is most definitely on its way. It's getting cold, you can tell, because the goldfinches, they get narky at this time of year. some bridal joints in these massive sleepers. It's probably the biggest bridal joint I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm gonna do it using a hand saw followed by the reciprocating saw because I want it to be a little bit wonky. And I think if I try and do it wonky with a hand saw, I won't know how to do it any other way but straight for once in my life. You don't even recognize my man. wonky is the easy bit. Cutting the second one wonky to match is difficult. Anyway, I've made it two, uh, so this should come in handy. Right then, now that we know we're going to be here for the winter, we need to try and make things a little bit more comfortable and in some cases a little safer. Now, we wasn't planning to be here for the winter, but we are. We've done long winters in the van before with the dark days. We've done extremely cold temperatures like minus 20 and below. And normally we're fine because we're out exploring all day, but that is not the case here. So it's a long time to be sat in that van uh, in, in the dark wet winters. So I need to get this cleared. All this furniture's got to go away. Two reasons. One, it'll get ruined so out here all winter. And two, next week, hopefully if the materials come, I'm going to be building under this barn. So that's very exciting. So I've just made us some seating uh, to get us through the winter that can be left outside, that can be trashed. And I've done it so that it looks um, deliberately rustic and old to be in keeping with everything else. Plus it's just a bit more fun. These are stainless steel uh, coach screws, but they're very shiny and they look very new. So I spent my evening last night, oh, it's exciting, uh, making these look a bit more, I don't know if you can see if I get out of the way maybe. So yeah, I wanted to make these look a bit more rustic and maybe a bit rusty and aged. So I did it by, um, I got an angle grinder. I grinded just the top just to give it a bit of a key and just to take the shine off a little bit. And then I heated them up on the gas stove, uh, got them nice and hot. And then I just dunked them in coffee. Now that coffee is, you know, kind of, caramelized on so to speak it'll it'll stay on inside i think outside a bit of rain might start to wash it off so i need to seal them with something really these benches will probably stay together on their own but i think 
as they expand and contract as the temperature changes, I'll just get some of these in anyway, just to hold them together and to make it look uh, a bit cooler, really. spending loads of time out here in the winter but it gives us somewhere to sit around the fire and if we want to move it up we get the big chairs out then but yeah they'll do they will do the job this barn itself these uprights they're actually made out of the old railway so i think it's pretty fitting that we've got benches made from railway sleepers it needs a lot of work and i need to get it done before winter so all these beams i don't know if you're about to tell from down here but all these beams are rotten and falling apart i think you can see up there somewhere that should all be much better supported so i need to order some massive beams i'll replace all the purlins and then maybe what i'm thinking for the the sheets on the roof is to drop them all down respray them weld the ones that need welding and then put them back up one by one it's going to be a big task and it's one that i do i need to at least get it secure for winter maybe not a full refit but at least secure it up right next oh next bought us some lights it gets dark here now at like five o'clock and obviously with the dog and stuff we still come out in the garden and first thing in the morning it doesn't get light till is it like half seven uh, so i've bought us some of these lights that come on you know with the sensor and whatnot they're solar powered obviously because we don't have power uh, so we're completely off grid under this barn and uh, they look pretty simple i think i mount this bracket to the wall and then just slide the light on i just need the boss to arrive to tell me exactly where she wants them because no doubt left to my own devices they will obviously be in the wrong place I'll take my time, dear. Just to keep you around here Know what they say You can't keep the clouds away Away, far away Everybody's been shopping and AJ has bed number... I don't know, how many beds have we got at this house now? Six? <laughs> One, two... Yeah, six. Six, six beds. beds. We bought him a massive one for after his surgery, but he's kind of that's kind of too big now, now that he can move around a bit, so he's got the next size down. Next size down, but hopefully you can give him a little bit more space and stuff. But yeah, more beds are the king of England. Yes. Do you want to put your lights up? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, so exciting, honestly. Put your lights. Yeah. We have to see past four o'clock. <laughs> Maybe it's... Here he comes. <laughs> and he's like, oh, actually... <laughs> You're half naked, bud. Wait a minute. So it's the exact same bed, but the smaller version. Yes, yeah. Next size down, next size down. I think it'll be all right, you know. He does love a new bed. He does, yeah. Right, wait a minute. Everybody wait. Right, come out of the way. Booty, you come out of the way, bud. Wait, 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 it's just I'm not getting chance, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, give me my bed. Oh, yes, look at that, bud. For anyone saying, oh, you haven't bought Summer a new bed, she's tried bed. She quite blank refuses to sleep in a bed. She gets to go up there with us, doesn't she? So She does, yeah. She gets she gets her enough, didn't you, Sum Sum? Searching for the right way. Right then, while I'm up here, I might as well show you these timbers. So as you can see, absolutely rotten to the core, but only on the ends, because this, where I fixed the camera, is solid, like I had trouble getting the screws in, so it's a shame that it's going to have to come down. Get some measurements while we're up here. Six for threes. So we need some six for threes, and you just know that getting those old bolts out are going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh, WD. But yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to replacing it. I'm, it's a scary job just purely because of the height and I don't know if it's all going to ping open when I take all the nails out. But it will be nice to get some new, uh, nice, funky, chunky timbers up there and get it all looking glitz and glam. Not just for the aesthetics, but for safety as well, Louise. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, the, the big one, the you know, big one. It does flap around a bit when the wind blows. Oh, yeah. 
This one done, or? Yeah, yeah. Even that bad for one? Yeah. For next year? For next year, yeah. Save that bit for next year. But the bird knows where to go then. We find those. There's still oil in this, by the way. That's why it's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's thick. That's so much weight. Just, okay. If we can just shove it, just like not far that way. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. I've got my new coat on the race. Try again. One, two, three. Just push. That's it. You do need my muscles. Don't you? <laughs> Your big gun. My big, I need the one. Tracy tricep. Tracy tricep, that's it. Why are you doing it? Right, not here. Wait, it's covered the whole house. We've got a smaller one, but I think it'll be too small. This is um two at half. Yeah. Shall we get the smaller one? And then that one looks funny. It's a gummy lock too, isn't it? Top two feet. Top two small. <laughs> you need one just could right. Be just right. Okay, that's more than I need a Wow, that temperature has dropped quite rapidly now and the fog is rolling back in thick and fast. There's quite a nice view over there. Not that you'll be able to see any of it. I think that'll do for today, but before I go to the van for a warm up, uh, there's just one thing I want to quickly show you and that is how we're dealing with security out here in the middle of nowhere. Many of you have started to notice some of our cameras like this one and I'm very excited to say we have partnered up with Reolink. Now Reolink make cameras. They're smart, user friendly and they offer security solutions for both indoor and outdoor use. Particularly for me though is their off-grid solutions. This one is the Atlas PT Ultra and it's completely independent so it has a battery so it doesn't need its own power supply. It comes with this little solar panel but even without this it'll last up to 500 days on just the one charge. So if you've got it high up or in an awkward spot you haven't got to keep accessing it to charge it up. Mine hasn't dropped below 100% since we installed it and as you can see we ain't getting much sun this time of year it's really easy to install and everything you need comes in the box you've got the instructions the camera itself which feels really good quality then there's the bracket to mount it with or a strap if you prefer and then all the screws that you'll need you also get a template for where to drill for both mounting to the wall or the ceiling then there's the solar panel the solar panel mount charging cable and the cable to link the panel to the camera that would be this cable right here the install is really easy. Emily and I had it done in about 10 minutes. I just used the guide to pre-drill the holes, then I screwed the bracket in place, plonked the camera onto it, and then there's a couple of little grub screws to secure it. The solar panel was equally as easy. Again, I just sighted the mounting bracket and then attached the panel. This then pivots and tilts wherever you need it to make sure it's pointing in the direction of the sun. The footage is great, it's in 4K and it even does 4K colour at night, meaning you retain a lot of the details, which would be brilliant if Mr Fox ever walks under this barn because it would be really cool to see him all in his like fine glory at night and obviously any criminals that may intrude, it'd be nice to see their faces as well. There's a 10 second pre-record. Now I love this about this camera. So what I found with other cameras is by the time the motion sensors pick something up and then it started recording, you've missed the beginning of the action. What this one does is 10 seconds before it starts recording, it records the 10 seconds prior to that. Does that make sense? So you don't miss anything. So again, if Mr. Foxy Loxy walks across here, we get all of it, not just his towel scurrying off in the background. Now the app, let's talk about the app. I hate getting new apps, but this one is so simple. It's responsive and does exactly what you want it to do when you want it to do it. You can easily set all your recording parameters as well as when you want the motion detectors to be active and when you don't. For example, I've got it set up to only record between nine o'clock at night and seven o'clock in the morning because the last thing I want is to fill up the SIM card and the memory with lots of footage of me working away or Emily's multiple trips back and forth across here while she goes to the house to stock up the small snack supply with the largest snack supply from the house. The camera will also send a notification if it detects anything. So again, I've got that set up at parameters. So I think from six o'clock in the evening till eight o'clock in the morning, it'll ping a notification straight to my phone if it detects any motion, which is brilliant. So that if anyone does come through here, especially now that it's so dark most of the time, then I get a notification straight on my phone, which let's be honest, is always by your side. I love having this area covered under the barn because like I say, if anything does come in, I know about it before they can get to the van. But also when we're out and about in the car or if we go out for a walk or whatever, you know how anxious I get about leaving this van. 
can, especially if AJ and Summer are left inside. So I can just go on the app and remotely check on it at any given time, which for me is a massive nerve setter like every time we go out. You can control and move the camera from the app also, which is pretty handy. And because it moves, the field of view is huge. It's very useful to be able to have a full look around your garden or wherever you've got it mounted. And you can even talk through it from your phone, which is a really cool feature, although it does mean that Emily can nag me right from inside the van. Shut up, Louise. See what I mean. So once again, a massive thank you to RioLink for sponsoring this week's video. Now, if you wanna get any more information about the Atlas PT Ultra, which is the one I've got up there, then head to the link in the description where you can also get a massive discount. Normally I'd be giving you a discount code at this point, but it is Black Friday. So they are cheaper now than they will ever be. So I think there's like up to 40% off some of the cameras, uh, pretty much 30% off this one, I think. So yeah, go check them out. I am really impressed with it and quite happy to recommend it to anyone that's looking for something similar. Now, hopefully, dinner time, nice warm stew, I reckon. Check out Emily's new lights. You're very excited, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm, I hope they're like really bright. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, you know what the problem is, don't you? You're too short for the sensor. Have you turned them on? No, they're just on. They're just there is no on. Not just on. No, I thought they'd come on then, but it's the moon. <laughs> oh, look at all that mist. Yeah, nice. That's, it's not raining, that's literally just mist. Mist, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought I... Oh, I'm not least one then. You and that torch. Jump higher. Right. Why is the torch up there? <laughs> These stubby little legs can only jump so high. <laughs> oh, that was a bat. That was a bat. That was a bat. You scared the bat. Get inside. Oh, Louise, come on, because I don't want to scare the bat. Like, get off that torch out of my face! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just don't raise it. Go and get the other light from the house. We'll see if there's an on and off switch or something. Okay, alright. Give me the torch then, because you can't be trusted. Louise, you know I don't like going in the house by myself. <laughs> now, come on, you have to come to the house with me now. It's not because she doesn't like the house, it's because she's scared of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of the dark. I don't mind admitting it, Louise, I what? don't like the dark. What? Honestly. <laughs> There's an on and off switch, you twat. No. <laughs> yeah. Back up the ladder. Not now. That's why I couldn't, I was, I was too busy up the ladder. You should have checked that. That's a technical <laughs> issue. You're in charge of technical things. That's a technical department thing. <laughs> At least we know why. Because it's just us two. This is Full glory now. <gasps> oh, I've been waiting forever for that. This gap is going to be our patio door from the open plan kitchen diner to the back garden. We're very excited about it. This one more so than anyone I've ever met about a patio door. But um, that sheeting that I had over it was just to stop AJ and Summer getting here over the summer. It is nowhere near secure enough for the high winds that we're expecting uh, January and February time. So we need to secure this up and make it a wind defence to keep our roof on because otherwise come March we'll have no roof on the house and that is that well actually well it, it decides something for us it doesn't it? It will force us to replace the roof now so you never know. <laughs> I'll leave it open, I'll leave that gap open, let fate, let fate plan our course. Shut up Louise. Just tell the morning if my love is broke, I'll
Lovely. It's going to be the new, new door. We'll just put a couple of windows in. Well, it'll be Fine. easy now. Just cut a couple of holes, a bit of plastic. Um, that do. Jobs are good and save yourself two grand. Okay, so we've counterbattened it on the inside as well, and then these are bolted to the block wall. So it should be pretty good. I mean, it's pretty solid. I could close in the gaps at some point. I'm sure I probably will. Uh, but yeah, it will last us, hopefully, get us through the winter. Can you refrigerate <laughs> No, I'm checking out what we're gonna have for dinner. Oh, it's not even lunchtime yet, but... <laughs> brain on the job, lady, brain on the job. Yeah, on food, Louise. We've got to make sure that we're fed. It's chilly outside. We need to make sure we're having hearty food, so... Don't mind whether to do like a, a carrot soup or something. I'm so excited for this next job, but Lou is going to try and get the bath working for us. Oh, I've got bubble baths and everything. Let's hope it happens. Do you need these yet, Louise? I've got to figure out where the bloody water supply is coming from first. Oh, <laughs> you I thought, done it, yeah? I thought it'd be there, but it's not. Uh, so we've got an immersion heater in this house. The immersion heater works, but when I've turned it on, we've got no hot water pressure. So we're going to try and replace the taps. And if it's not the taps, then it'll be a problem in the system. But we'll give it a go if I can find the shut off valve. You got this, Louise. You got this. We will see. There's no guarantee this is going to work, Emily. Don't get your hopes too high, will you? They're already up. <laughs> They're already high. Excited for the potential bath, aren't you? Not potential, Louise. I, you, you've, you've got this. If this doesn't work, I'll build you a wood-fired one outside, which would be way more fun anyway. It would, actually, to be fair. But I still want this to work, Louise. I want this to work. OK, hot coal from there. Which way? Why would they come that way? Off she goes. I'm not going to lie to you, Louise. I'm glad that you're doing this and not me. Uh, right, go and run the cold tap in the bath for me. And the cold tap. She's running. It's still running, isn't it? Yep. What are you doing? Trying all the different shut off valves to see which one it might be. Oh, still running. On the plus side, I found you an iron. Yep, that is still running. It should be that black one. That's what I thought. Because that's that the, from the tank, no? What's that one? Okay, run that cold tap again. That's it? Right, that's the cold. That's the cold. I'll try the hot tap on the sink, yeah? Yeah. Hot tap's coming through. A trickle. Has it gone off? Well. But we don't know if that's just the pressure. Shall I try the sink one? Yeah, try the sink one. Nah, sink one's still coming on. Still coming on. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, it's just what was left in the tap, I think. Because yeah. it's off now. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate plumbing, I hate it. Here. Now, did you get me nice taps? I mean, the cheapest taps. Taps are flipping <laughs> expensive, and I don't even know if it's going to work. 75 euro for taps. What? That will go on on that bit. Yeah, so we could just try that first. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be like simpler, wouldn't it? Oh, if that works, I'll tell you what though, you just know that ain't gonna be the case, right? <laughs> yeah. It's just not gonna be. This is the you. Case. What's in there? Does it look gunky or? Uh, well, the trouble is with the hot water system, well, the water system, it could be silt and sediment anywhere in the system that's blocking it. So we'll try this. So it goes, and then you can clean out the system. But I think if I was to put a hose on here and back pressure it, that would work. But I don't, I don't really know. What I'm Louise, not know something. I don't believe it. Well, it's plumbing. It's not really a trade, is it? <gasps> oh, right, I give you full permission for any plumbers out there Why to come so for us. Shy? Because you bought shit taps, Louise. Feels like there's no washer. Yeah, where is that? Did not read the instructions. We need that in there. So is that meant to go in there? Maybe. What? Maybe. Cold. Had, is it written on the box then? Yeah, there'll be a little blue and red stick. Yeah, red stick because this is the hot oh. side. I wonder why. What, why? What does it make a difference? For plumbers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just so they, just so they don't get it off. Come on, keep keep everything across that this is this was just a tap slice. It won't be this easy, it's never this easy. Have faith. Be glass half full. 
Is that bubble bath? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. I told you I had it. You were so hopeful, weren't you? Do you know what you've done there? You've tempted bloody fate. No. Right, I'm going to turn the water back on. You stand there shout me if it starts pissing out. It's not pissing out. Do you want me to test it? Yeah, I'm just going to put it on the valve to turn on. Right, let's put it back on. Right. Well, it won't. There's no hot water yet because the immersion's not on, but just check the... The, the pressure. pressure? Yeah, that's what I'm like. That's why I'm... Come on, pressure! There's pressure! There's pressure! I pressure! I just... <laughs> <laughs> and you've even got a shower. A shower thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, you need to put it on because it was just coming out. Oh yeah, I'll fit that. Well, you can fit that. Do you want to fit that? I've got this. Right, I'm going to turn the immersion on let it start heating up. Oh, yeah. Yes, we know running an immersion heater is very, very expensive. This is going to be a once a week treat, isn't it, this bath? It is once a week treat. Uh, We're going to be like old school. One, one goes in first, the other one goes in after. Bags, are you getting second? <laughs> no way. Are you You're seconds? the dirtiest. <laughs> Let me know in the comments who should get the first bath. I reckon because I'm out in the cold working all the time, I should get the first yeah, bath. Yeah, but I'm clean Vote... because I don't work. <laughs> Vote in the comments who gets to go in the bath first and who gets the dirty, dirty council bath water afterwards. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why do plumbers charge so much? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's not a real trend. I'm only joking. I couldn't resist. <laughs> don't hate me. Yeah, our sincerest apologies to all plumbers. Um, you know we don't mean it, it's just a bit of banter. Plumbers yeah. can take banter, that's why we know, because we know plumbers give the best banter. They usually <laughs> have the best builder's cracks as well. <laughs> they do, actually. <laughs> the wrong line of work, 300 quid, we could have just told Hello. someone for that. Let's put it with our other scrap metal. I think your big parcel's arrived. Shut up, we it's a big truck. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's always washing on our line whenever we're filming outside, and that is because Emily is addicted to doing the washing. Um, plus, we have a big, smelly old dog and a cat, and we live in a small van, so there's always dirty washing. However, getting that washing dry at this time of year has become a problem. Is it it? It's it! So what do we have? We have a tumble dryer! I'm so excited for this, I can't wait to put some washing on. Get it in, Louise, we need to get it hooked up, I need to get washing on. Can you imagine if tonight you get a hot bath and you get to tumble dry your washing here without having to drive it to the nearest town to get it dry? And pay an extortionate amount as well. well it's all about them. Yeah, but you're gonna, you guess it's gonna cost you that to run the immersion uh, No, the this is triple A energy efficient. I done my research on this one, actually. She must have done, because she didn't even ask me to check the basket. <laughs> Where are we gonna put it? Well, we'll just put it with the rest of the, the rubbish. <laughs> put it in here, because it'll get all dusty. But that's what I mean by I don't know where else to put it. The washing machine's in here. Yeah, but that's uh, an older washing machine. This is brand. How much was this? Yeah, well. Yeah, so we'll look after it. We'll put it in the spare room. It was energy efficient, though, so it cost a little bit more. <laughs> Tumble dryer. Look at that beaut. Is the door open? Well, I'd like ropes on. I'd like, sorry, energy rating a double A. Double A, not triple A. Yeah, I've got that bit wrong, but anyway, still A, right? So this tumble dryer, I've never, we've never had a tumble dryer like this. We normally have the one with the tube at the back that needs ventilation. What's this one? This one is um, a heat pump. It collects the water in here, um, and then I empty the water out of here, rather than it going through the pipe, which is a condenser. Okay, know. we can't be bothered to read the instructions or do the research, so if you could let me know if this is okay in the spare room if we open the window when Emily's using it, that'd be great. If anyone's got one, if they're any good. Uh, I well, checked we, it got, out, we've got, Did you? Did you yeah, actually? You... I did actually. I just can't remember such things. I'm too excited about all the stuff. I can get like smart touch on here with my phone and everything. Oh great, so you can control it with your phone. That's yeah. What we, that's what we paid the money for, is it? <laughs> also, look, look at this. Like, don't, don't look at it. Don't look at yes, it. Look at don't it. judge it's me. This is, this is Monica's closet. <laughs> I'm just like, look. In a few weeks time, it will all be okay and you will see why, all right? But at the moment, it's just a dumping ground. Tiny little pieces, a twinkle in a somebody's sky. Cock 
condensation is a real issue for us in the cab at the minute, obviously, because the van's not moving. We're not getting as much ventilation as we need in there. Also, it's really cold, so we don't want to have the windows open too much just in the mornings. So we've bought uh, an external cab blind. We're going to look like campsite wankers. <laughs> We do love our blinds from Wonderbug, but they're going to have to go away now until we either travel again or the summer comes. I've never heard one of these before. Do you reckon it, do you reckon it just goes over? What's that? Like, I think you struck one in the middle. In the middle? I bought one with a window. Yeah, I bought one with a window so that we can have extra light coming in. Yeah. In January when we can't go outside because it's really. Really so bad. yours is over the window really when you're don't worry about your window at the minute. Look at my side, it's not over the window a couple of days. Where is it? So what oh, it? what a beaut. Uh, so that should keep us a little bit warmer in the winter and it should alleviate some of the condensation and like with the window we can get some daylight during the day coming in through the front. Lovely. Well the sun goes down over there, so at ambience. Night, yeah, at night we get the you know the two days a year we might get a sunset, <laughs> we get the, the evening glow. <laughs> Love it. Isn't that the place to start? Someday you will be stronger than you are now. Oh, it's a bit too toasty, that is. What is it working? Yeah, it is working, wow. Game changer for the winter, this. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoa! It's really it's hot, hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's definitely working, the camera's steaming up. <laughs> it is warm. I can't tell you how nice it's going to be to have a hot bath when we're doing outdoor work and it's cold and wet and you can just come in and get in a nice hot bath. So it's oh, very exciting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Them aching bones after all that shoveling is going to love it. And it is worth paying the extra money for the immersion heater to be on just every now and again so we can use it. Little luxuries. Definitely think I should have got the first bath. I'm just about to make my own bubbles. I'd get out if I was you. Well, that mist has rolled back in thick and fast. We've had about three days of constant fog, haven't we? We have indeed. We haven't had this shot for a while. Emily's cooking in the van. Uh, we're pretty much set for winter now, aren't we, apart from fixing up the barn? Yeah, I think we're, we are pretty much there, haven't we? When are you going to fix up that barn, the ways actually? ASAP, but first, the only thing left that we're really going to need is some more indoor living space because it's going to be really tough, especially with AJ's mobility issues now yep. in this small space. So we're going to work on that. That'll be coming very soon. Uh, we need to say a few thank yous, don't we? Yes, we do indeed. Um, some massive thank yous, actually. Uh, Charlotte from Lottie's Cavapoos has sent AJ some new blankets. You've probably seen those floating around. And Summer's got one as well, right? Summer has got one. She's not as... as um, Blanket friendly. Yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> but AJ's very, very comfy in them. And also Sarah from, from Absolute, Absolute Hound. Hound. So the t-shirt you saw AJ in earlier with the one leg not there oh. was from there. And he's also got a hoodie. Do you want to show him it, or his jumper? Yeah, show him his jumper as well. In my great wisdom, I thought dark green would be a really good colour. <laughs> <laughs> not so much on a white dog. You're a good boy and you do do, yes. <laughs> Just give me a cuddle. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, bud, shall we give you a little treat? Do you want a little treat? Oh, yes, Doody, you're a handsome boy. In your lovely jumper. Keep you roasty and toasty in the night, eh, buddy? Yes, good boy. He only works for treats these days. He? <laughs> he does only work for treats, yeah, bless him. <laughs> Obviously, it's not that easy to find uh, dog clothes with one leg missing, but he does need it, especially because we're going to be here in the winter. I think next week it's going to be like zero overnight, so he's going to need nighttime clothes. He's he? going to need nighttime clothes, and I'm ordering even more because honestly, the quality of them are so, so good. Uh, she does do ones for four legged dogs as well. Yes. If you're interested, <laughs> I'll leave the Instagram links uh, for both of those below. Uh, yeah, and we're pretty much done, so we will see you all on the next one. If you've enjoyed this one, please obviously feel free to subscribe. We would very much appreciate it give us a little thumbs up and you know ding that bell quite oh, said that for ages i don't think no and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.